the U.S. Air Force could be getting 32 more combat-ready F-22 Raptors in the not-too-distant future. According to the head of Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, the firm is currently in talks with the U.S. Air Force to heavily upgrade the oldest 32 Raptors. At any moment, a swathe of sky somewhere is under the invisible watch of a silent guardian. The aircraft glides high above, shrouded by technology and tactical purpose, its twin engines barely announcing its presence to anyone but the most attentive. Once revealed, the F-22 Raptor is a visual and strategic reminder of American air dominance, an apex predator among fighter aircraft. Notoriety hasn't come from overwhelming numbers or showy demonstrations, but from the few crucial moments where the F-22's unmatched capabilities have made their mark encounters that have reinforced its status and kept adversaries wary. Despite its advanced technology and proven operational effectiveness, the F-22 story is as much about scarcity and policy as it is about performance. Only 186 Raptors were produced, a steep decline from the grander ambitions of its inception, and the US Air Force has openly signaled that the platform may be retired by 2030 as new priorities emerge. Escalating costs, political decisions, and the evolution of rival technologies have all played roles in shaping its fate. Yet, among air combat communities around the globe, the Raptor's reputation continues to loom large, a name that inspires caution, respect, and sometimes outright anxiety. Why does the F-22 command this persistent sense of dread from opposing pilots and strategists, even as its numbers dwindle? The answer lies not simply in stealth, speed or agility, but in the deliberate engineering choices, tactical doctrine and the psychological environment that surrounds the aircraft. To understand the true foundation of the F-22's enduring impact, one must move beyond surface-level specifications and into the deeper strategic philosophy that birthed this aircraft. Here, in the story of the F-22, lies a living case study of what air dominance truly means and why, long after its production ended, its legend endures. The Anatomy of Dominance, Why the F-22 Was Created The roots of the F-22's formidable reputation are set in the waning years of the Cold War, when military planners faced the looming specter of new adversaries and technological surprises. The F-15 Eagle, itself a legendary air superiority fighter, had set the standard with its undefeated combat record and global respect. Still, as the pace of military innovation increased, there was an acute awareness that new threats, including advanced Soviet fighters, improving missile systems, and evolving electronic warfare capabilities, could soon diminish the margin of American supremacy. Responding to these realities, the U.S. Air Force outlined requirements for a fighter that would not just outperform current foes, but would represent a generational leap ahead an aircraft able to maintain unchallenged air superiority for decades. The F-22 Raptor emerged from these requirements, developed under the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program, not as an evolution, but as a revolution in fighter design. Every aspect, airframe, engines, avionics, mission systems, was conceived for stealth, survivability, and tactical flexibility. Stealth was central, not as a single feature, but as a guiding principle. The F-22's geometry, skin material, and internal configuration all aimed to minimize radar cross-section from all angles. Weapons were housed internally to avoid signature increasing external pylons. The canards, wings, and engine intakes were designed with radar deflecting angles in mind, and even the cockpit canopy was treated to reduce radar reflections. These features were not merely for advertising a low signature on paper, they defined how the aircraft would operate in combat, allowing it to approach, engage, and disengage unseen. 
Beneath the skin, the F-22 was equipped with two Pratt and Whitney F-19 engines, allowing it to supercruise sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, a capability almost unheard of in operational fighters of its era. This enhanced the Raptor's reach and tactical surprise capability, as well as its fuel efficiency at high speeds. Advanced flight controls and thrust vectoring provided unparalleled agility, granting the F-22 dogfighting prowess should visual engagements occur. Equally important was its sensor suite and data processing capability. The Raptor's avionics could fuse data from various sources into a highly detailed picture of the battle space, allowing pilots to make decisions with unrivaled situational awareness. This digital integration was a massive leap for its time, foreshadowing later trends in fighter design and multi-domain operations. The F-22's sheer capability, however, brought immense costs. Each unit was a major investment, and the technologies underpinning it required rigorous maintenance and protection. Congressional scrutiny soon mounted as development costs escalated, and the original vision of 750 aircraft was scaled back sharply. Production ended in 2009, with the final fleet numbering just 186 Raptors. The US government, wary of safeguarding sensitive technologies, prohibited export even to key allies, ensuring the Raptor remained an exclusively American asset. Nevertheless, within its small pool, the F-22's role as force multiplier persisted. Its design wasn't just about being incrementally better, it was about decisively tipping the balance. Even with limited numbers, the aircraft's characteristics offered the ability to challenge entire air defense networks, disrupt adversary plans, and deliver a psychological effect disproportionate to its fleet size. Ghosts in the Sky – The Power of Stealth and Surprise Stealth is often understood as radar evasion, but for the F-22, it is an ethos, a comprehensive strategy to disrupt an adversary's entire decision cycle. In training and operational deployments, the Raptor's low observable features consistently allow it to detect, track, and target enemy aircraft long before being seen in return. This advantage transforms the tactical picture. The F-22 can choose when to engage, and more crucially, when to disappear. Allied pilots who have participated in exercises alongside or against the F-22 consistently recount its ability to dominate engagements before their own sensors register its presence. The Raptor's radar and infrared signature suppression, inward weapons carriage, and networked sensors produce an operational reality where opponents often find themselves killed in simulations without ever seeing their hunter. This advantage extends past the technical. For adversaries, facing an enemy that can strike unseen and vanish just as quickly induces a constant state of caution and vigilance. In a domain where milliseconds matter, uncertainty and surprise can be paralyzing. In both simulated combat and day-to-day -day operations, even the potential presence of the F-22 can disrupt enemy planning. Operations must account not just for visible threats, but for the unseen hand that might reach out at any time. Supercruise enhances this unpredictability. While many legacy fighters achieve high speed only in short afterburner bursts, instantly increasing their infrared visibility and draining fuel, the F-22 can sustain supersonic flight, complicating intercept solutions. This enables it to cover vast distances rapidly, further clouding adversaries' expectations about when and where it might appear. To external observers, the F-22's impact on air campaigns is thus greater than its numbers might suggest. Enemy planners must layer additional defenses, reroute formations, or avoid certain areas entirely, even when the odds of an actual Raptor intercept are low. This unpredictability acts as a force multiplier, reshaping tactics not through visible action, but by leveraging the psychological weight of near invisibility and first strike capability. Real World Encounters – Lessons from the Gulf The F-22's reputation for dominance is not purely the result of controlled exercises or promotional claims. 
Real-world encounters have shaped its legend as well. One illustrative incident occurred over the Persian Gulf, where Iranian F-4 Phantoms attempted to intercept a US drone operating in international airspace. Unbeknownst to the Iranian pilots, an F-22 had already maneuvered into a tactically advantageous position. Without escalating into direct combat, the Raptor pilot made contact and communicated a clear, measured warning. Recognizing their vulnerability, outmaneuvered by an unseen adversary, the F-4s disengaged. No missiles were launched and no aggressive acrobatics executed, but the episode demonstrated how the F-22's suite of advantages, stealth, awareness, positional superiority, could transform the dynamics of an encounter. Such confrontations reinforce for adversaries that the Raptor can achieve overmatch without shots being fired, and that detection itself can be too late to react. It is a form of deterrence grounded in capability and proven in operational contexts. While these incidents are not commonplace, their impact is outsized in the planning circles of potential rivals. To be targeted by an F-22 is not to face a theoretical or remote danger, but to confront a real and material risk, further embedding respect and sometimes wariness about engaging in airspace where the Raptor may be present. The Price of Perfection Rarity, cost, and unfinished dreams. For all its extraordinary qualities, the F-22 was constrained by its own ambition. The high costs, acquisition, operation, and maintenance constricted the fleet's size and future prospects. By 2021, the US Air Force had begun to publicly recognize the high cost and small size of the F-22 fleet as vulnerabilities. Modernization challenges grew as integrating new hardware and software required by evolving threats became costly and technically demanding. Plans for the retirement of the F-22 by the early 2030s were not merely speculative. Official US Air Force statements reflected a view that a small, expensive-to-operate fleet would struggle to keep pace with the increasing pace of global aviation advances. Reopening the F-22 production line has been dismissed as impractical due to immense startup costs and changes in manufacturing infrastructure. Paradoxically, this scarcity has further enhanced the aura of the F-22. Rather than a battlefield mainstay available in large numbers, it is an exclusive capability, reserved for missions where success is non-negotiable and risk must be minimized. Its rarity ensures that every deployment is notable and every sighting by adversaries is significant. While opponents understand that massive Raptor formations are unlikely, the possibility of an F-22 intervening is always factored into their calculations, constraining their operational flexibility and planning. As threats evolve, debates within the US Air Force have focused on the best way to preserve critical air superiority, whether through further investment in upgrades or by transitioning to new platforms entirely. Still, the Raptor's status is less about quantity than about quality, and the enduring perception that it remains, even in declining numbers, an insurmountable obstacle for adversary air forces. Training for the challenge exercises, morale, and the Raptor factor. Across countless exercises, the F-22's influence on allied and adversary training routines is well documented. Events like Red Flag and Northern Edge have regularly pitted Raptors against the latest US and allied fighters. Simulation data routinely show the F-22 achieving high kill ratios. The result, experts note, of both technical advantages and mature pilot training. For many pilots, flying against the F-22 is as much an education as a contest. Enemy formations are often destroyed before ever making radar contact, and attempted countermeasures fall short against the Raptor's ability to approach undetected and deliver simulated ordnance with precision. These exercises are not just about scoring points. They expose vulnerabilities in tactics and force structures, compelling squadrons to revise engagement strategies and reinforce teamwork. After-action reviews consistently highlight the humility and adaptability these experiences impart. Rather than inducing despair, facing the F-22 in exercises pushes pilots toward more creative solutions and emphasizes the importance of coordinated action. 
air forces facing the Raptor, whether in exercises or theoretical conflict planning, learn that agility, rapid adaptation, and vigilance are essential. Commanders have also observed the indirect effect on adversary morale and policy planning. Intelligence on even small Raptor deployments can trigger operational shifts, with potential opponents avoiding certain airspace or adjusting timelines to mitigate the risk. The so-called Raptor Factor, the impact of rumored or known F-22 activity, serves as a psychological lever, shaping behaviors through uncertainty as much as through hard data. The Strategic Shadow, Policy and the Balance of Power the F-22's influence extends from the tactical realm to broader strategic calculations. For American policymakers and planners, maintaining a fleet of unmatched air superiority fighters has been both a practical guarantee and a signal of intent. In crisis scenarios, the ability to deploy a capability no peer can readily counter is an asset that can dissuade aggression and assure allies. Potential adversaries, from state militaries to regional actors, must factor the Raptor into their assessments of escalation. The challenge it presents is not only one of technology, but of strategic flexibility. How to operate when a competitor can impose air dominance at a time and place of their choosing? In an era of renewed technological competition, with new systems such as Russia's Su-57 and China's J-20 entering service, as well as ongoing advances among NATO partners, the F-22 stands out as both a benchmark and a test case. Its operational record, both in exercises and limited real-world roles, continues to inform discussions about what true air superiority demands. However, the Raptor's looming retirement and modest numbers create a potential opportunity for rivals. The drive to field next-generation capabilities and the accelerating pace of innovation mean that advantages may be more fleeting than ever. As the US Air Force plans the transition to platforms like the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, the Raptor's unique blend of stealth and agility sets a high bar for successes. High stakes and the haunting legacy. Few aircraft have impacted the psychology of aerial warfare as thoroughly as the F-22 Raptor. Its legacy is built as much on what it has deterred as on what it has defeated. Its strengths, stealth, supercruise, sensor fusion, and agility, combined with disciplined operational employment and institutional secrecy, have created a weapon whose main effect is often preventative. Reshaping enemy tactics and intentions before combat even occurs, the secret to its enduring terror factor is not hyperbole, but the tangible reality revealed through training, operational deployments, and global assessments. The Raptor demonstrates that genuine technological overmatch, carefully fielded and rigorously guarded, can have a lasting impact on adversary behavior, operational planning, and even regional security architectures. As discussions about the F-22's future continue, its influence persists. As a standard for air dominance, an example of the interplay between technological ambition and hard constraints, and as a case study in the psychological components of modern military strategy. Even in a future marked by rapid change, the presence of a weapon system that can operate with near impunity shapes the choices of both allies and rivals alike. Final thoughts. As aviation technology continues to advance and new platforms arrive, the F-22's legacy is assured as an illustration of both the heights and the costs of seeking unquestionable air superiority. More than its specifications or combat records, it is the embodiment of a doctrine that possessing and wielding a decisive advantage can alter adversary calculations and maintain peace without firing a shot. For pilots and strategists worldwide, the shadow of the F-22 remains a subtle but significant factor in any serious discussion of future air combat. As long as the Raptor flies, so too will the wariness it inspires endure, a testament to the enduring importance of technological leadership wisely applied.